morning, everyone. My name is Margaret Ramsworth. It is my pleasure to tell you one of my many stories for God's glory. It was in the early 1990s when I was just about a few years in the employ of the Guyana Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. One Sunday evening, I was cleaning my shoes and bag for work on Monday morning. As I was doing so, I noticed that the soles of my shoes were wearing thin. So I said to myself, somebody, please send me a $20 so that I can get myself a pair of shoes. Now in those days, we depended heavily on overseas gifts to survive decently. My mother overheard me and she said to me, who somebody? I said, man, anybody, somebody. Then she said to me, did you ask God? I retorted, God? For shoes? She said, how you mean? God's storehouse has many and you just have to ask him. I stopped the conversation with her and I pondered what she said to me. This God of this vast universe with so much more great responsibilities and bigger issues to handle time was burden for shoes. It sounded so insignificant and so trivial to me. Nevertheless, when I had my quiet time in the afternoon, I was too embarrassed to really ask him for the shoes. So I said to him, Lord, mommy said to ask you for shoes because your storehouse has plenty. In the morning, when I had my quiet time, I said, Lord, I'm just reminding you about shoes. That Monday afternoon, when I went home from work, my mom said to me, Sister C came to visit and she was very upset that you have not visited her for some time. She said, when you're passing home tomorrow afternoon, please stop by her. I did so and I try to make up for my delinquent behavior. When I was leaving, she handed me an envelope and she said, hey, this is for you. I thanked her and dropped it in my bag. I almost forgot it, but while I was having my chit chat with my mom after supper, I remembered and I took out the envelope and I examined the contents. Then I laughed out loud and I said, God, you're something else. You mean you had shoes put aside for me, just waiting for me to ask? I must tell you that I was able to purchase shoes, bag, stockings, and I have sold the other shoe. So I ended up with two pairs of shoes. I have learned a lot of lessons from that one experience that has kept me up to this point in time in my life. I have learned that God always gives us more than we ask for. He's a very generous God. I have also learned that the God of the universe is also an individual God, a personal God. I have also learned that God does not see any concern of us insignificant or trivial, but he's standing by ready to share with us in our concerns. I've also learned that he's standing by, he's ready to work, but he's waiting for us to ask. He advises us in his word to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us and that he's able to supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. Mrs. White tells us in the book, Desire of Ages, that God never takes us to any situation for which he has not already made provision. Brothers and sisters, today our God is standing by. He is just a prayer for you. He's ready to act, but just ask. Have a good day.